hello welcome to my channel as you guys can tell today's video is going to be a hair install video featuring your girl hair they sent over this kinky straight wig that your girl done slayed and laid okay so if y'all want to see how i installed and styled this wig make sure y'all stick around First of all, let's get into this super cute packaging and everything they sent along with the wig. So they sent over a wig cap, which is essential, of course. This um, elastic band with their logo on it, some lashes, and it even came with a cue card that even shows you how to take care of the hair. This is the hair directly out of the box. So as y'all can see, it's really thick. And this is a reddish brown color. I really love that because most kinky wigs are just like, you know, that black color. And then that was the lace, which is really good. And this is the inside of the wig. It did come with some clips, but I always cut mine out just because that's the way that I like my wigs. So I hopped right in and started plucking it. I did not even feel the need to bleach the knots simply because the knots were so small. So it just was not needed so here y'all see me just pulling out a little bit of the hair because i like to start plucking a little bit behind where the hairline starts and then i go back in and pluck the like the front part that i pulled out so that's what y'all see me doing right here and this is what it looked like after i finished plucking it girl stop playing with me like come on so this is me just comparing it to the other side as y'all can see this uh, this side is a little bit thicker and then this is the side that i plucked so i'm like okay what do i want to do so i decided that i wanted to go in and flat iron it because i did want to give it more of a straight look it is a kinky straight wig but since it is kinky it has some kinks to it but you know that wasn't a problem i thought that it took pretty well to the heat i did have to go over it maybe three or four times so you know keep that in mind it is a kinky wig so it doesn't flat iron like off one one little pass through so this is what it's looking like after i finished flat on in that back little part as y'all can see it's still silky still giving body and then this is like that whole side after i finished flat on in it once I finish getting it prepped on the mannequin head, I go ahead and do my ball cap method and then I go in with my bronzer to just kind of make it my skin color. Then here I am just putting the wig on. This is what it looks like initially without me doing anything else besides the plucking and the, you know the flat ironing that I had did. But it fit really good, really snug and this was giving like blow out mommy, okay? So I'm like... I think I want to do a middle part, so I went ahead and parted it. As y'all can see, it was like not trying to go, so I had to go in with my hot comb to make it lay flat. Then after I do that, I go ahead and peel that thing back, and I go in with the ghost bond glue. That's what I've been using lately, and I always do just one thick layer of glue. Once I'm done adding the glue, I just go ahead and smooth it out. Y'all, I don't, you can use literally anything. I don't know why, but I always use an edge brush to like <laughs> smooth mine out. But hey, it works. Whatever works for you, that's what you should use. And then I like to just let my air dry. I don't usually use a blow dryer if I'm not in a rush. But yeah, let it go ahead and dry till it's like clear. And then you want to go ahead and put the lace into the glue. I like to just like pull it down into the glue first and then I go in with a comb and work it in and then I go in with my hands after that. Once I know I have it all like pushed in, I go in with the got to be spray. As y'all can see, I'm not just spraying one big old line. I'm doing dot by dot and like putting it in with my fingers i like to do this because it gives me more of a melted look y'all gonna see what i'm talking about in just a second after i apply the elastic band which i'm about to go ahead and do right now so i really love the fact that they send elastic bands the only thing i would say is that like the velcro doesn't make it quite tight enough for me so i like to go in and actually tie it up and then while i let it sit i go ahead and get the styling done i figured that i wanted to do some curls with this so that's what y'all see me using I wanted to do like big barrel curls, so I used a bigger barrel this time.
so this is what it is giving after the curls i actually really love the big barrel curls like that might just be my new thing but let's go ahead and take off this elastic band so i can show y'all girls what the lace was giving and it was giving stop playing scalpiana so after that i go ahead and cut off like the excess lace because i feel like the lace just be in my way sometimes so after i'm done doing that i go in and just kind of snip it in different areas that makes it easier for me to go in with a little um eyebrow cutter to cut the lace wait i know i did not just say eyebrow cutter i meant eyebrow razor y'all get what i'm trying to say that that thing in my hand that's what i'm talking about but as y'all can see it just makes it easier to do it section by section once i'm done cutting every little piece i go in to get rid of that casty look with some spritz so y'all see how like the spritz is giving it more of like a shine and a gloss type of look i do that every single install and this is what it's giving before i decided on how i wanted to style it it's really giving um brazilian silk press um blow out you know i don't know what the girls be getting but y'all know what i'm trying to say it was cute just like this but i decided that i wanted to go in and cut me some bangs i see that the curtain bangs have been like really popular lately and that's something that i used to do with my real hair all the time so i'm like okay girl let's let's try it out so as y'all can see i cut the two sides out as if you know like this is where i want my bang to be and i went in with the hot comb just to kind of flatten it flatten it and y'all see that i was kind of like getting rid of that part in the middle but you're still gonna you still want it to be there just a bit then from each side you're just gonna kind of like comb it out make sure it's straight and you're gonna swing it to the opposite side and you're gonna cut it at that angle so y'all see like the angle that my hand is at y'all i'm not a professional i cut hair just how i imagine that i should so this is what i saw everybody else doing this is what i'm doing i'm pretty sure it's another way you could do it but this is how the first side came out and I'm like, okay, we, you know, we're getting somewhere. But of course I didn't want it to be that long. So I, you know, always longer than shorter, y'all. Let me tell y'all, you, you don't want to make the mistake of cutting your hair too short the first time. So I always go longer than I just kept cutting it until I got the desired length that I had wanted. Alrighty, so we you know we got somewhere then i'm like okay it's looking real crazy let me go ahead and go in with the um curling iron i think the curling iron made it a bit too big but y'all gonna see me go in with like the oh my god look at me y'all gonna see me going in with like the high comb to lay it down a bit because i could tell that it was gonna be cute i just needed it to lay a little bit more flat so that's what y'all gonna see me doing just to kind of get it where i need it to be okay and then i'm like all right these bangs still a little bit too long so i had went in with the scissors y'all be careful when y'all doing this because i almost poked my eye out but just kind of cut it up in like a scissory motion i don't know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm trying to y'all y'all see what i'm talking about though <laughs> but <laughs> this is the final look y'all i really loved how this came out i ain't gonna lie i was a little scared at first i'm not the biggest fan of pinky wigs but this wig right here made me change my mind so go ahead and shop this reddish brown 24 inch kinky straight wig it's gonna be down below in the description box and i'll catch y'all on the next video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe